Lesson two, new features. While the majority of changes to Cobra have been concerned with the interface and improving navigation, some new features have also been added and major enhancements to existing features are also available. In this lesson, we'll take a closer look at the new features and teach you how to use them. The new features we will cover in this lesson are resources in the project view, other table improvements, filters in the column headers, advanced filters, current period values, calculated fields, table data entry, codes tab, and performance enhancements. Resources in the projects view. Picking up from where we left off in lesson one, navigating the Cobra 8 interface, let's take a more detailed look at the changes in the project view and explore some new features that support these changes. We can now expand work packages or control accounts to see resource assignments listed below. In the time phase table on the right, we can see a summary of values for each resource. When we select one of the resources, we can see the time phase detail in the window on the lower right of the screen. It is possible to change values in the time phase details table just as we could in the resources tab of Cobra 5. Additionally, it is possible to edit values in the upper time phase table, again simply by typing new values in the required cell. These are summary values, so if you change the summary values, Cobra will back the correct value into the respective results. That said, it is important to be aware of the type of data that is currently being displayed in the summary time phase table area. It will display results as selected in the results field of the edit ribbon. With a resource selected in the CAWP table, let's take a look at the edit ribbon. In the data section, we can see a couple of useful tools, the Show Summary option and the Result pull-down field. The Show Summary option allows you to toggle on and off the summary values at the control account and work package levels of the table. This can be used to unclutter the screen by hiding summaries at these higher levels. It may also be useful to do this if the particular result values displayed are not necessarily logical for summarization. Keep in mind that these summary values are simply a roll-up of the displayed values, so it may not make much sense if you are summarizing a mixture of actual costs and budget costs for a resource at the work package level. The results field allows you to select exactly what values you would like to see in the time phase table area. By default, it is typically set to show the total for all currency results. However, you might need to see just hours, or perhaps only direct dollars. Change your selection using this Result pull-down. If you wish to manually assign resources to control accounts or work packages, you can use the Assign Resource button, which is located in the Edit Ribbons Assignments section. This button invokes the Add Resources Assignment dialog that used to be accessed with a right-click in the Resources tab. Spread profiles can also be selected here using the Spread button. If you wish to hide all the assignments from the CAWP table, you can uncheck the Show Assignments box. This returns the view to just showing control accounts and work packages as it did in Cobra 5. You'll notice that this has also closed the Time Phase section on the right. One more useful section on the Project View's Edit ribbon is the Ancillary Data area. This contains a set of buttons that will show you the calendar, rate, code, and resource files being used by the currently open project. Previously, it was necessary to open the Project Information dialog and go to the Fields or Files tab to view the ancillary files being employed by that project. Other Table Improvements Further improvements that have been made to Cobra table views include a reduction in the number of default open columns in the CAWP area. By default, only about 10 columns are open in the left table area, rather than the 30 or more default fields presented in Cobra 5. 
Deltek has removed all the hours and variance columns and now shows just the essential data columns. You can now add whatever columns you wish without first having to close dozens of unwanted columns. Also, when you do use the Insert Column feature to add your own columns, Cobra now places the new column to the left of the selected column, rather than stealthily placing the inserted column at the extreme far right end of the table. This was a particularly frustrating nuance in Cobra 5, and while it seems to be a small point, it makes a huge difference to the ease and enjoyment of using the Cobra column features in this new version. Changes to the table columns are saved by user, by project, as was the case previously. In future releases, it will be possible to save named views in Cobra, and this will also be a very welcome improvement for the Cobra community. Filters in the column headers. Another very welcome feature in Cobra 8 is the introduction of column filters. Operating much like the auto filter features in Excel spreadsheets, a filter can now be configured for any of the open columns in the table area. Furthermore, multiple filters can be used on various columns to fine tune the data being viewed. For example, let's say you wanted to filter the class column to only show budget class resource assignments. First, click on the small triangle button found to the right of the column header. In the resulting filter dialog, you can select the values you wish to see from a list of all the existing values in that column. Use the Select All or Individual checkboxes to make your selection and then click OK. The table will now display only those resources that have a budget class assignment. You can see which columns are employing a filter by the small filter icon now displayed in the column header. Now, if you wanted to further reduce the number of resource assignments to say just engineer, you can click the triangle icon in the resource column header and from the filter dialog select engineer. Advanced filters. Advanced filters can be used for more complex filtering that involves such things as date ranges or other items that may require more than one criteria. Each of the filter columns allow advanced filtering options to be selected using the Advanced button in the filter dialog. Some fields, such as the date fields, will offer the advanced filter when the triangle icon in the header is clicked. In the Advanced filter, you can enter up to two criteria and place an AND or an OR option between each one to control the criteria data display. As with Cobra 5, it is also possible to sort on a column by simply clicking on the column header. When you do this in Cobra 8, a secondary triangle button appears in the header pointing up or down to indicate an ascending or descending order of sort. To remove a filter, click on the filter icon and select the clear filter button that is present in both the filter and advanced filter dialogs. Filters will be saved with the view, by user, by project, as previously described for changes to columns. So, filters that were active prior to saving and closing a project will still be active when the user reopens their project. Current period values. The table columns now include current period columns. In Cobra 5, you could only display cumulative data in the project table. In Cobra 8, however, some new current period columns have been added. You can see these in the Insert Column dialog, and they include Actual, Budget, and Progress Technique dollars and hours. Note that Progress Technique is the replacement term for the field previously called Earned. You could therefore, in effect, create a Format 1 style report directly in your CAWP table. You can also easily export your CAWP table to a spreadsheet using the Copy View to Excel option that is located under the Copy button of the Edit ribbon. This has the added benefit of opening Excel for you after you have selected a file name and location. Calculated fields. 
you can now create calculated fields in the CAWP table of Cobra 8. For those of you who used Cobra 4.7, there was similar functionality, but this was lost with the introduction of Cobra 5. A calculated field is a user-defined field that will show the results of some math performed on other standard Cobra fields. Therefore, you can use calculated fields to create custom metrics in your CAWP table. To access this feature, click on the Tools ribbon tab and select the Calculated Fields button in the Custom Fields group. In the Calculated Fields dialog, click the New button. Enter a name for your calculated field. In this case, let's call it Spend. Click the OK button. Now, in the expression form area, you can enter formula to make a calculation. In this example, we'll type BAC minus actual. You can type in the field names if you know what they are, or you can select them using the fields button. At the bottom of the dialog, you can further define the type of field it is, decimal or integer, and if the field value will be currency or not. Click OK to complete the process, and click OK again to close out of the calculated field dialog. This field can now be inserted into the CAWP table. For this version of Cobra 8, you can only use this feature for the CAWP table. Deltek will be expanding on this capability in future releases. Table Data Entry it is now possible to enter new control accounts and work packages directly in the control account work package table. Scroll to the bottom of the table and you will see there is now a blank row. By clicking in the WBS, OBS, WP and other fields, you can create new control accounts and work packages working directly in the table. Codes tab. A new Codes tab has been added to the tabs at the bottom of the screen. This shows the code values for any item selected in the table above. This has been done to reduce the requirement to open additional columns in the table area, which can become very busy and too wide for convenient navigation. Improved Help The Help system in Cobra 8 is now web-based and also allows you to select between hosted help or local help files should you find yourself not connected to the internet. By default, Cobra will always attempt to connect to the hosted help first and will use the local help if it is unable to connect to the host. Hosted help, of course, gives you the most up-to-date version of the help topics for your copy of Cobra. The help system has been completely updated to align with the features and functions of the new Cobra user interface and new features. Performance Enhancements The reporting engine has been completely rewritten in .NET to eliminate certain data report size restrictions that existed in Cobra 5 and to speed up report generation. In the CAWP table, the Expand All feature has been changed to only expand objects that are in the current view. For example, if we have a narrow table view and we use the Expand All feature, only those objects in the displayed rows will be expanded. This has been done to improve performance, particularly for the very large projects that would take a long time to open the hundreds of control accounts and work packages present in the project. Congratulations, you have completed the Deltek Cobra 8 orientation training. In this training, we have covered all the major changes and new features released in Deltek Cobra version 8.0. This includes both the major changes in navigation, functionality and the new features. If you do not yet have access to the new version of Deltek Cobra 8.0, we recommend that you watch these lessons more than once to really absorb the changes and become familiar with the new system. You will find this saves you much time as you start working with the new software and you will be confident in your ability to complete your monthly reporting duties using this new and improved version. Thanks for watching, and we wish you every success with Deltek Cobra 8.0. This is a production of 10.6 Consulting LLC, copyright 2016. 
all rights reserved. For more information about Cobra Training and Consulting Services, please visit 106.com.